Hi guys, Lori here. I'm here today to do my 2019 goal, reading goals check-in. I really love to do this video every year because I really take a look back at the previous year and see like what I need to work on, what did I do good, and what didn't I do so good. The one thing I'm not going to chat about in this video is like my specific reading stats because unless like it's because I'm filming this video a month early right now it's November 30th and I know my numbers are going to change so I'm going to do like a whole video about that like the last day of the month so I can tell you my official stats so that's the only thing I'm not going to chat about in this video but I did say that I wanted to read like 150 books and I am on track to complete that according to Goodreads um I also started out the video talking about professional goals like and I had said in that previous video that it was the first year that I was a bookstagrammer, a booktuber, and a blogger, which is totally true. So my my plan goals was I wanted to be at 200 followers on my blog, which I actually surpassed. I'm now at 215, which is great. YouTube, I wanted to get up to 400. This was a weird year for YouTube. Like, I kept gaining followers and then losing followers. So right now I'm at 271. So I'm going to make my next goal maybe, like, 300 um but I'm really happy with the content that I'm producing so and on Instagram I actually got up to 532 and I was so blown away by that so my next goal I think is probably like 800 that would be like a realistic goal but those professional goals are just for me and ultimately if I'm making content that people like that's all that matters to me and I'm just happy that I have anyone watching me um but yeah that's the re that's the recap of my professional goals and check out my 2020 new year's resolutions video to see the official numbers um but my other goal that i actually did succeed is i wanted to listen to at least 12 books in the year and i actually right now i've listened to at least 16 which means i have surpassed that goal which is great to say and i actually really did enjoy all the books that i wound up listening to this year as well but that's just a nice big check, check that i did complete 12 books well at this point 16 so i totally did complete that goal the next goal that I had was to just be more organized when posting, especially on Instagram and especially on like my blog. Um, YouTube channel was actually, I was got much better at, but I did develop like a consistent schedule for my uploads for YouTube, which really helped. And it really helped a lot with pre-planning. Um, and I really did get better at my blog and Instagram. I figured out a way to pre-film like, pre or pre-take photos, which was very, very helpful. So towards the end of the year, I got much better. There was only two months that I really fell off the bandwagon and that was May and I think the begin like the middle of November because I was in a wedding and then I was doing my, my show but other than that I felt like I actually was much more organized and the content just was a lot more easier to create now that I was so organized I definitely did use my owl crate planner more a lot especially towards the end of the year I am really going to utilize this a lot better I think I've gotten a lot better at organizing and planning so towards the end of the year, I think these planning pages came a lot into say. So that is to say, I thought overall I was much more organized with my planning of my booktube channel overall. Um, my reading list, not so much, but we'll talk about that in a bit. And I did wind up mostly completing um, the challenges I was a part of. The only one that I really didn't do was the TBR and Beyond group. That challenge because I don't always pay attention to what books they're reading so it's really hard for me to go back and say like well of course I read that book so that was the only challenge that I didn't really participate in I'm gonna try my hardest to do it again this year um, but I just don't know but I did wind up doing the um, the beat the backlist challenge um, and I did wind up doing the pop sugar reading challenge I actually like wound up doing like a lot I I'm not gonna film a video for it this year I'm just kind of gonna check do like a check in in like maybe like May and then a check in in December because it's just it's just kind of luck of the draw like I'll check in and see like what books I really need to read but I really didn't focus on it at all this year and I read a good amount of the book so it was just kind of luck of the draw but they were super fun and I really hope that I could participate in the TBR and Beyond one a little bit better but I did print out my pages for 2020 and I, now that I'm here, I did do about, out of 39, I actually read like 31 of the Pop Sugar Reading Challenges, um, which I thought was actually super impressive. So I'm really, really proud of myself for that. And I didn't even really like consciously do it, but I just kind of checked in like about a month, about a, a couple of weeks ago or like a couple of days ago. And I just saw, oh, I actually did. So out of 
the 39 prompts, I actually did 31 of them. That's actually pretty impressive. And the Beat the Backlist Challenge, as of right now, I read about 50 books, which was my goal, and I hope to actually get rid of some more by the end of the year. So, very good. The next one of my goals was to read more books that came out in 2019 because I really struggled with that in 2018. And I am happy to report that of the books that I read at this particular recording date, I read 62 books that came out in 2019, which is really good. Um, another one of my goals with that was to um, take out books from the library as I read them. With Kindle, it was terrible because I didn't, I think I like read so few of those, but physical books that I took out of the library, I read a lot. I mean, I think I've gotten a little bit worse as the months have gone on, but I've got, I was better than I was last year. But as with my Owl Crate books, books that came out in 2019 and Owl Crate, I think the only books I haven't read is, um, Wicked Saints, um, the second, um, October book, which I think is Ceruleum, or no, um, Crier's War, sorry, Crier's War, um, and the no and the December book. So I've actually done so good with Owl Crate this year, which I'm really, really proud of myself with. I do have to go back and read a couple of the other books from 2018 that I never wound up reading, but overall, I'm pretty impressed with my Owl Crate sets, and I'm really hopeful that I could stay up to date for the whole year next year. That's going to be a goal that I will talk about in 2020. I did not use my Kindle more. I actually used my Kindle less, but I'm trying to get better. I really am. It's a process. So that's going to be another goal for 2020, but I did not su succeed in that goal in any way, shape, or form. But I do have two books that I want to read on my Kindle this month. Does that count? So the next goals I'm going to chat about is I wanted to find homes and find new homes for 50 of my books. And at the filming of this, at the time of this recording, I have found homes for at least 78, which I say is very impressive. Um, but I just keep getting more books. So, um, I actually did do better at keeping track of them and I'm actually going to do much better this year because I'm going to actually have a specific notebook for it that I'm going to keep track of everything in. Um, and I'm going to start that in 2020. So I'm just going to have lists where I'm going to keep track of everything. Um, but yeah, so much better at keeping track of them and I actually got rid of 78. I hope to reach 90 by the end of the year, but we will see. Um, and then the next one is I wanted to read half of my New York City Comic Con books from the last year. And I actually did that. I have very, very few New York City Comic Con books left. And from last year, I did read a bunch of my BEA books and I got rid of a bunch. So I'm going to call that goal done. So either I read the ones that I really, really wanted to read or I got rid of the books that I just didn't think I was going to read. So both those, both those goals are done. Check. Now, this is a goal that I know I probably did not complete, but I'm not really sure because I didn't really keep any notes. <laughs> um, but I definitely know that I did. I bought more than two books most months. So I'm going to try to revise this goal in 2020, but my goal was to only buy two books a month other than Owl Crate. There were some books months that I didn't buy any books, and then there were some books months the one I went shopping with my friends I bought like eight bucks so it's kind of not realistic to do that but I'm gonna like revise that goal so as for only buying two bucks a month other than Owl Crate, that was a negative that I did not complete but I also I'm gonna work on taking better keeping better records and I'm hoping that the little inkling design planner will help me with that um, but yeah so I don't know I'm gonna say I didn't complete this goal but I honestly don't know because my my record keeping wasn't that great for this part of my record keeping. I also made another Owl Crate goal to read at least five backlist tiles from 2018. And I'm happy to report that out of the five, I read three. So the books I wanted to read was Amber and Dusk, um, Shadow of the Fox, Wizards of Once, and Sky in the Deep. And the only two books I didn't read were Twinkle with Love and Amber and Dusk. So I'm going to just keep moving those over and add that to my 2020 goals um but I'm actually pretty proud of myself with that so and um I actually really loved Shadow of the Fox and I really did like Wizards of Once um Sky in the Deep was okay so but for that goal I'm gonna say that I did most of it so I'm gonna say it's it's like a half success
One of the goals that I made last year was to diversify the genres of books that I read because I realized that I read like almost exclusively fantasy. So I'm happy to report that at the time of this recording, my numbers have balanced themselves out a little bit more. Um, so according to this, I read 16 mystery books. I had said in that reading that like re recap that I read like no mystery books last year. So definitely read some this year. I read 16. Um, I read 30 fantasy like pure contemporary like um, young adult fantasy books, which is good. 30 middle grade books, um, 36 contemporaries, eight graphic novels, um, and nine adult or nonfiction books. Um, and I'll give you guys my official stats at the end of the month, but most of these are not going to change, change. But I will say that I, I think I did pretty good. I still read a lot of fantasy, especially if you count the middle grade. Um, but I tried to diversify my reading. And I actually did, like, read a bunch of, like, um, historical fiction books. I also read a couple of, like, women's fiction, like, you know, romance novels. And I read a couple of nonfiction books. So I'm going to say that I actually had a pretty diverse reading year. Not as great as, like, probably it could be, but for the moment, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. So, diversity in reading life, check. The next goal that I made was to not worry about my stats. And I think, for the most part, I think I did okay. I think it, it, there was some parts of me that, like, got, at the end of the month, I would get, like, oh, my God, I have to start a new read. So, like, or I have to finish all the books that I'm reading. So, that was, like, a little bit stressful. Or, like, if I was doing, like, a read-a-thon or something or, like, stuff like that. That's when the stress got to me because I was, like, oh, my God, if I don't finish this, then X, Y, Z. So, I'm just going to stop rushing. And I think, like, I'm going to let myself take the time if I want to watch a TV show to watch a TV show. Um, so, I think I've gotten better at it. But especially, like, in the last couple of months, not that great. But I've been better than I was last year. Like, but I think I also last year I just like had no time to read and I think I was so stressed that I was not going to make my reading goal. This year I have a lot more time to read but I just, I'm just rushing myself and I have to stop doing that. Um, so I'm going to say I 50%, like I think I'm 50% better but I could be, like I'm, I'm st I, I, I still struggle with that. But my work-life balance has gotten a lot better which leaves a lot more time for reading so I don't feel as rushed or as stressed which is good. This goal, I'm just a little bit upset at myself at because I didn't finish listening to Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows in 2019. I'm a little bit upset about myself, I'll be honest. And I think the problem was is that I was not giving the time to it that I needed to. So, like, I was listening to a chapter of Deathly Hallows because I started, I don't even know when I started it. I don't, can't even tell you. Goodreads can probably tell me. Um... According to Goodreads, I started Harry Potter in February, so, and I'm only on chapter nine, which means I literally did not even listen to a chapter a month. Um, so, yeah, and it, towards the end of the, the year, I did, we did do a couple of ones from MuggleCast that I think I was more, like, focused on. So, I'm really going to try in this month of 2019 to make a lot of progress on Deathly Hallows and definitely finish it in 2020. Um, and also, I will have also finished re-listening to Order of the Phoenix as well. So that'll be two Harry Potter books. And I'm just going to focus, that's going to be my goal for 2020. But right now, sadly, did not finish listening to Harry Potter. A little bit disappointed in myself. You can yell at me in the comments because I'm, I'm a little bit angry at myself as well. My next goal was to finish the Queen of Air and Darkness series. And I did read Lady Midnight. So I'm happy about that. Um, and I did... I think I read, yeah, so I'm, I'm in the middle of reading Lord of Shadows. Lord of Shadows is going to be a 2020 read, and I'm really going to make it my goal to add those and read those. They're just so long, so I just need to figure out, like, a better system for that. Um, so, yeah, that's another reading goal that I did not complete in 2019, but I did finish reading Lady Midnight, and I'm, like, a bit into Lord of Shadows, so... We will see how much progress I'm at at the end of the month, at the end of the year. And for my 2020 goals, I'll let you know what chapter I'm at. My top 10 lists failed. I did. And I will say that, like, at the film of time of this recording, I think I literally read, like, four of them. So I really did not do a good job. And I'm going to make one of my goals in 2020 to make a top 10 list that I think I can actually succeed in reading. So, but yeah, I definitely did not. I'm making, it's, I'm going to read a bunch of the books in the month of 
December, so it's possible I'll get up there, but I won't complete it because at this time it's at the time of this recording, I think I read three of them, three out of ten, which is not very good. So no. But check out my 2020 resolutions to see how I'm gonna fix that problem for 2020. This is another goal that I failed at, and it's more because it wasn't anywhere I could see it, but there was a list of like five series that I wanted to start and finish, and I didn't do either of them. Um, so for 2020, I'm going to put these, whatever series these are, in a place where I can actually see them, because I don't see them, and then I just totally forget about them. So the series that I wanted to complete and the series I wanted to start, I did nothing with those lists. Um, the only series that I made progress on was the Keeper of the Lost City series out of all of those lists. Everything else I made no progress on, but Keeper of the Lost Cities I did actually read, but everything else on those lists, no progress. So I have to figure out a different system for 2020. And the last goal that I made for 2019 was to use TBR cups as a way to organize my reading. I will say the TBR cups and jars really failed and I have to try to figure out a better system, but the one thing that I found that did work this year was this craze hit the booktube world. It's called like a TBR card and you just like put all your books on it. That worked so well for me. And then what I started doing is I just started doing like a random number generator and I would put all the books on the top row of my cart. I should include a picture in this video at some point or one of my videos. Um, and I just would line them up across and I would just do a random number generator and whatever book that came up I read and that seems to be a much better system than all these TBR cups I'm trying to figure out a way to like do one TBR cup for 2020 but I still have to think about that so that is a recap of my TBR goals for 2019 and I'm still slowly starting to think about 2020 I have my planner for allocate the little inkling one is on its way um but let me know what your goals were like and did you find success because I struggled a little bit but definitely better than last year. I made 18 goals um, and I'm probably going to try to make round it out and just make 20 for 2020. Um, but let me know in the comments what are some of your biz biggest successes and some of your biggest not so successes. Um, and we'll talk more in the comments. I hope you guys like this is one of the first videos of my book miss series. I really hope that you guys like it and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye.